travels on one chromosome. And for instance, you know, if, if we're going to find each gene on a chromosome and not on multiple chromosomes. Okay. Now, law of assortment says when you get one from mom and one from dad, and this one from, and I can do this in a little different color combination. This is assortment, right? Yeah. You're going to get one set from mom and one set from dad. And again, not worrying about that crossing over has occurred, but just even if it didn't, when these split up, there is no rule that says when they duplicate and split up, all of moms are going to go to one and all of dads are going to go to one. They're going to mix up. This one could go with this one, could go with this one, or the greens could go together, or this one could go with this one, could go with that one. They just divide up. They don't care. Segregation says, even though it doesn't matter what pattern they split up, you're going to get one of these, one of these, and one of these, so that you get a copy of each gene. You're not going to get two copies of this, one copy of this, and then two of the other. You have to get one copy of each gene. Is that better? And then in segregation, is it the same thing or no? You're going to get one copy of each gene. Okay. You got independent assortment? Yes. Okay. What segregation says is, okay, if you look at this as an organism, you have to get, um, say, say we're going to divide these up, you have to get six genes, okay? So when this divides up, what it's going to say is, okay, these are going to replicate, and you're going to have to get a copy of these, a copy of these, and a copy of these. We aren't going to give you these, you know, two copies of these, and then do this over here when we replicate. Okay. You, you're not going to get like oh, double copies of 1 through 13 and double copies of 13 through 23. Okay. You have to get a copy of each gene. Okay. Is that better? Yes. So, you know, we're going to go ahead, we're going to duplicate these. I'll just go through the process. Right, during replication. Okay, so now we have 12 genes to split up, all right? Independent assortment says, well, you know, we can divide these up and we can, you know, split them up any way we want. Right. Segregation says we still have to put two of these, two of these, and two of these over here. We can't just go, well, you know, we got these 12 chromosomes to split up, let's put all four of these and just two of these over here. And then let's put these two there. We put six and six. That doesn't work, right? Because this isn't really a full copy of all the different genes, right. nor is this. Okay. Segregation says, no, we don't have all the different genes. So the copy because eye color may be over here and hair color's over here, but this person isn't gonna end up with any hair. <laughs> right? Okay. Does that make sense? Does that help? Yes. Okay. And then what the other says for those people still struggling is okay, but we could, you know, go ahead and put these guys over here, these guys over here, and these guys over here. Or it could switch and go the other way, and it could go this way. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We still got the same amount of genetic information over there. Is that better? Or did that just make it worse? No, that's better. Okay. okay. What does, crop, does crossover happen at the very top? Or yes. Okay. Yeah, and these rules have nothing to do with crossover. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Okay. And crossover only occurs in Myers. Correct. Okay. 
in one of these. Because it isn't going to make any difference here because these pairs are always going to go together. Okay. Happens way back in my notes. 